Hello everybody. It's pretty late when I'm filming this. You can probably tell by my face. I'm really tired. I've been here editing my videos. This is Josh from the future. I just wanted to let you know in advance that the next couple of vlogs are uh, multiple days put together into a couple of different vlogs. I hope that makes sense. So the last few days for me, we've been packing. We've been moving and we've gotten into our new house. I'll give you a little sneak peek. There you go. That's all you get. So I'm exhausted. <laughs> As you can tell. And I'm putting all these videos together. I want you to know that all these videos are going to be a little bit bouncing around between the next couple of days. We start off with six days until the move. And then suddenly in the middle of the vlog, we're at four days until the move. And uh, it's sort of a progression as we get closer and closer to the move day. And then I'll give you the house tour of our new house in one video on its own. But uh, for now, this video is just a couple of days before we move in. Uh, it's all over the place a little bit. And I, I hope you can follow along. I tried my best here. Uh, but we were very busy and very overwhelmed. I hope you enjoy it. Morning, Chevy. Morning, Chevy. You helping us pack or what? You helping us pack? Let's go show everybody what we've done already. Let's go show us. Slowly getting things done. We have some time to pack before we go. We still got about six days, no, yeah, six days before the move. Yeah. We got that. We'll get it These boxes up here, we got these boxes here. Everything pretty much is off the walls except for the TV and that big sign. More boxes here. Got a Chevy here, he's been doing lots of helping. Yes, all that sleep. He's resting up the whole household. Exactly. Yes. Diesel's working hard in here. He's already got all those boxes packed. Good job, Diesel. Eh? Well, I was new. What? I mean, I was working hard. Very hard. Look at these boxes. I've, I've started on these here squares here. Very good, Diesel. Very good. Walls are all blank. Closet is getting there. I'm working in the bedroom, getting my clothes all packed up here. Slowly getting there. So, I mean, we're, we don't need to get it all done today. We're, we're trying to get it all done early enough so that the day before we sort of have nothing to do so that we can sort of go over everything, make sure we haven't missed anything, make sure that we're all ready and prepared because we've hired movers to come and move us and they're gonna get here early in the morning, six days from now, and we wanna be ready. We wanna have all the boxes sealed up at the end, of, in the front of the house. Yes, we got hay bear even in the bedroom. Every room you go into, you cannot get away from hay bear. Right, Gio? Someone's favorite. <laughs> so, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, we want to be ready for when the movers get here so that we don't, like, we're not messing around. Like, we mean business. We want to get into the new house as fast as possible. No messing around. Just get us over there. For one, we're paying them by the hour, so we want to make sure that we <laughs> don't waste their time, because that's wasting our money. But, uh, once they're done loading up this house here, we have all that stuff in the shop yet too that we're gonna be going over there this week, moving all of those boxes from the back of the shop to the front of the shop, in front of the truck and moving the truck to the back. Like I was telling you in yesterday's video, get all that ready because once they're loaded up here, we're gonna move down over there and load that stuff up as well and then go to the new house and unload everything. Uh, they won't be able to take 
everything, but they'll be able to take most most things. But the things they're not able to take, I've rented a, a six by 12 foot enclosed U-Haul trailer. So I'm gonna go pick that up. I'd rather have that and not need it than need it and not have it. So like I said, I, I want all the T's crossed, all the I's dotted so that on moving day, there's no messing around. There's no surprises. There's no hiccups or anything. We just get everything in there as fast as possible so that we can settle in. I only have till the end of next week to settle in. So I have more days to prepare to move than to settle in afterwards. That's okay, because we got this guy over here with his mom over there. They'll continue settling in once I go back to work. I want to enjoy it. Like we got to take care of the, the important things right away. Like we have to get the TV set up and hung on the wall and mounted straight. Very important. So the, I have to make sure that we get that done pronto as soon as we get there. Stat. Right? Because we can't miss a single minute of hay bear. Uh-uh. There will be big trouble if we don't set up the TVs. Right? <laughs> you excited to move? Yeah. You can have a new big house. You can have your own playroom. You can have your own bedroom and your own playroom. Daddy's gonna have his own office. We're gonna have a guest bedroom. An upstairs and a downstairs. Wow. Excited. It's gonna be your forever home. He won't even remember this little home. And that was the whole point. I didn't want him to remember this home. <laughs> this was just a, a means to an end. And uh, that end is coming soon. And uh, I'm very excited. So, Dio, this is your stuff. Mm -hmm. A lucky guy doesn't even have to pack his own stuff. Mommy's doing it for you. Hey? Yeah, eh? spoiled. So, speaking of the TV, before, that's the big one. That one's the one that's so important to set up immediately as soon as we get moved in. First thing before you do anything else, you gotta set the TV up. You gotta hook it up. I actually have the internet guy coming to set up our internet, like, while we're moving in. No wasting time. I'm all about business. So the internet will be set up by the time we're all moved in so we can hook up our streaming services and everything right away and uh, hopefully watch a good movie to wind down at the end of the day, right? Can mommy and daddy pick a movie to watch though? After you go to bed. Can't watch Hay Bear all day and all night, okay? <laughs> He's my mini me, look. I gotta take my glasses off one sec. So imagine him with a beard. Right? And a bit more of a tan. Daddy's been working outside all summer. He's still got his summer tan. And you have been safely inside, right? With mommy. Next year you'll be outside more. But uh, after we take this TV down, I've got to come back and plug up the holes from the mount and putty them up. And we've got to uh, paint this whole wall and uh, finish up. So I'll be coming back here after the move on uh, so six days from now we move, either the next day or the next, before I go out again. Just to touch everything up and clean it up a little bit, make it look good for the new homeowner. It sounds like it's a young guy who uh, is buying his first house. And that's exactly who we thought was gonna be buying this house. Young person getting into the housing market. So we're uh, excited for him and we wanna leave it as clean as possible for when he moves in. Cause no one likes to move into someone else's dirt. That's, we don't wanna do that to them. She's been busy all day though. Rocking it. I was not expecting this. So we got our first snowfall the other day and it all melted. We went to bed yesterday, it was all melted, it was all gone. It came back. That's a lot of snow. Look at that, several inches. Or a few inches, anyway. Wow. So, 
today's another day of packing slowly getting ready we have to go sign papers with lawyers today um, a couple of other errands we got to run around town it's gonna be a busy day more day more another day of preparing first I got to wake myself up I can't believe we got so much snow. It's still not even Halloween yet. Wiener, what is this all about? What is this? Mmm. Oh. Mmm. <laughs> Good stuff. Mm -hmm. I guess it's time to put the winter tires on. Oh my! They've opened, what is this, Park Road? Park Road that goes past Penner Building Center and uh, the mall here in Steinbeck. This road's been closed for like five years. That's what it feels like while they were building this, whatever that is. And this is like a, usually a high traffic road. This used to be gravel. They paved it now, twinned it. It's open, all my Steinbeck people. They finally opened it. Wow, I just realized today. It's gonna be a good day. So I'm running errands right now. Uh, my goals and jobs for today are to uh, go get more bubble wrap for moving, go get more tape for moving. Get my wife a pumpkin spice latte. Get myself a coffee and then i've got to go get the winter tires on this vehicle before she drives it again because uh i don't want her driving without the winter tires the, these tires are all seasons that are on it right now but they're not all seasons let's admit it they're spring summer and fall tires they're not good in the winter at all where am i going i'm going this way i use my signal here we go so i've got to go to the shop after i bring the wife a pumpkin spice latte from starbucks Gotta go there, pull Old Blue out into the cold, turn her engine heater on and bunk heater on so she stays nice and toasty while she's out there. And uh, pull the terrain, this vehicle, inside and uh, get these tires off, get the winter tires on for her. And then also file some taxes. I have to get my uh, GST, federal sales tax. I have to get all of that information together for my accountant, which also doubles as my mother. Two and one. So I have to get all of that from uh, quarter three. So I'm like a month late getting that in. And then while I'm there, I have a few more Things to, I have errands to do today. I don't know why I'm listing them all off for you. You don't care. I have errands to run today, and uh, Britt's sister and stepmom are coming down, I believe, to help pack at the house while I'm at the shop. We have four days until we move. Today, tomorrow, the next day, the next day, and the day after that is moving day. We want to be completely ready in three days so that the last day we're sort of just checking off boxes and uh, making sure we didn't miss anything, making sure everything's ready for the movers in the morning. Am I going too slow? I got this charger like right up my rear end. I'm probably going too slow. I'm an old man now, okay? Take it easy on me. I'm not who I once was. There you go. There you go. I'm out of your way. You happy? God, I guess I'm right up my rear end. Does it smell good back there or what? Let me know. These people. All right, I found a parking spot. I'll show you where I'm at here. There's the mall right there. Mark's Work Warehouse. Oh, I do need to get new work shoes. I should probably go in there and take a look. I do need those. Walmart. Starbucks is right over there and the dollar store is right in through this entrance there. So everything I need is right in this area here. So I'm gonna quickly get all these errands done. I'll meet you right back here and let you know how it went. Okay, we've moved over to Starbucks. Right over there. We've gotten everything we need. I had to walk around Walmart like 10 times, but we got all the bubble wrap and I found some good packing tape. 
and all kinds of other stuff that'll help us protect our goods while we're packing them up. Just stopped here, got the Frappadappuccino for my wife and just a coffee with two cream for me because I'm a simple man. Let's bring this home to her. Let's get all these supplies back to the house and then I've got to run back to my shop, get the winter tires on this car. All right, we got one side done, so it's break time. Got the terrain in here. Got these tires ready to go on this side. There's the original tires, or summer tires and rims. Now I know these rims look pretty bad. I have to get them sanded and painted maybe, but they are just winter rims. I, mean, I know they don't look the greatest. We'll get hubcaps or something. Right? There's for winter. There's winter rims, winter tires. Don't fall on me. There you go. So yeah, got these off. They still do have pretty good tread. They'll need to be replaced soon, but I mean, they're just really bad on the ice. Really, really bad on the ice. So these winter tires, these are made for it. This here is what turns this terrain into a tank. This thing with these tires will go through anything. It's almost impossible to get the tires spinning, even on ice. But with those tires, oh, you're slipping, sliding all over the place. So I used to always say, you know, our terrain's a tank. It can go through anything in wintertime. It's not actually the vehicle that's a tank. It's the tires that make it a tank. So get your winter tires on your vehicles. If, you, if you're in a snow, snow climate, in some places it's mandated. Here in Manitoba, it's not mandated. You don't have to. I think in Quebec, uh, you have to have winter tires, maybe in British Columbia too. You know, those provinces of Canada that like to have a little bit more, you know, control into your every little, they like to, you know, micromanage your life. They, uh, they want to force you to put winter tires on, which is for the safety of all people on the road. I understand why they do it, right? It's just, I do it because it's the right thing to do for my family. It keeps everyone safe. If you haven't, if you live in a climate where you get snow and you haven't Put winter tires on or never used winter tires like winter specific tires just for winter time do it it's totally worth it totally worth it it will turn your vehicle into a winter tank and if it's legal where you are too, get the studded ones we can put studded ones here in manitoba as well but you have to take them off before april i believe these are not studded the next ones will be though definitely but uh, give it a shot you won't regret it definitely won't regret it it's uh, worth the investment Definitely, even if the rims are rusty. Like, who cares? Who cares? People can be laughing at me because I got rusty rims on the car. Meanwhile, they go flying into the ditch and I'll drive by laughing at them because they're in the ditch and I'm on the road. Oh, now a little hubcaps, I'll, I'll cover that up. No problem. I'll check the air pressure in them. And this thing will be ready for winter because apparently winter is here. A little earlier than I expected, but this is Manitoba. It can come at any time. Any time. Middle of July, snow. You gotta be ready for it. So we've got everything cleaned up. Got old blue back in here. And this is only gonna be in here for another couple of days. Thank God. Thank God. Oh, I'm gonna be so happy to have this whole shop back to my, well, not myself, but what it's supposed to be. You know, a shop where I can keep Old Blue warm, keep the camper warm, keep all of our assets that actually make us money warm. And all of this will be back in the house, I hope. I want none of this in here. I mean, if it has to stay in here, I get it. Some things might have to stay in a warm storage area because the new house, we have a lot of storage there. You'll see, you'll see but we have a shed outside as well, where things that don't have to stay warm can stay. Just keeping the truck warm and out of the cold when it gets down to minus 30, minus 40, you won't believe the amount of money you'll save just keeping it warm while you're parked at home. Because if anything's gonna break, it's gonna break on the coldest days of winter. So you wanna keep it warm. Old Blue needs a bath though. I'll be back, I'm a little bit preoccupied right now. But don't worry, I still love you. I still love you. We're just gonna get everything done. We have a whole bunch to get done in the next couple of days. And then we'll be back into the swing of things. Okay, I gotta go home. I, I'm done with the tires. The wife's vehicle ha now has the winter tires on it. So I feel comfortable letting them know, hey, 
Vehicles ready for winter. Have fun. Be safe. So all of you out there, please be safe as well. Please put your winter tires on. And if you don't have winter tires yet and you live in a winter climate, please go out and buy, buy winter tires, even if it's not a law where you are. Not only will it protect you and your loved ones, it'll protect me and my loved ones on the road as well. If you can control your vehicle on the snow and ice, go out there and buy winter tires, all right? It's worth it. Believe me, it's worth it. All right, old blue. I'll see you soon. It's me again, future Josh. Just wrapping this up here. This is where we're going to end today's vlog. I have some more footage of uh, everything, all the events leading up towards our move, but it didn't fit into this vlog. So we're going to add it into tomorrow's vlog and make a vlog out of that on its own. Hope you guys tune in. So this is a big event. If you haven't been following me long, I encourage you to subscribe down below. Uh, you can go to my playlists on my channel. You can follow my story all the way from 12 years ago all the way to present day. We started in 2011. Uh, so there's a lot of videos, a lot of stuff to catch up on. And this is the story of my life as a truck driver, but also as a father, as a husband, as a brother, a son, and a friend to you. So uh, this is the story of my life here on YouTube. Hope you guys did enjoy it. Tomorrow is the next installment of that story as we're getting prepared to move. Like you can tell, I'm future Joshua already in this house, but I want to save that for the video. I have a special video planned to introduce you to our new home. We're uh, very happy, very happy. But there's a lot of stuff that led up to it. And like I said, at the beginning of this video, I'm exhausted. There's, uh, it's a lot. Any of you who have moved before know it's just exhausting moving. You gotta pack it all up. You gotta get it all to the new place. And then you gotta unpack it. Once you're into the new place, that doesn't end. That, that's not the end of it. You gotta unpack everything. And we've had a lot of help from family and I'm very thankful for that. From my mom and dad, from my sister Cheryl, from uh, Britt's dad and stepmom, Jerry and Cynthia and her mom and boyfriend, Kathy and Gary. Thank you everybody for all of your help and everybody else there that I didn't just mention there that have helped us so much. We hired a moving company, which moved all of our heavy stuff and the majority of all the rest of our stuff too, out of our old house into this house. I'm very thankful for them as well. They they did all the heavy lifting for us. Uh, I rented a U-Haul trailer as well. I'm thankful that we have a company like that available here in North America where we can just rent a nice enclosed trailer and have that. So it's been a lot. It's been a lot that's going on and... Uh, Looking forward to showing you more, but look at my face. I'm exhausted. So we're going to wrap this up here and I'll see you in tomorrow's vlog. I'm um, looking forward to sharing that with you. All right, don't forget down below, subscribe, hit the like button. If you do like my videos, we'll be at home here moving for the next few days yet, like several days. And then we'll be back on the road trucking. Old Blue is waiting for me. Well, she'll be just fine. She'll be just fine. Lots of trucking to do yet. I got many years ahead of me yet for now. We're going to focus on getting the family settled in our new home. Take care, everybody, and when you're out there on the roads, please drive safe.